Gregory Central. My name is Quillen, and these are Red Devil TV announcements. Thought for the day. Humility is necessary for self-improvement, because in order to improve yourself, you must be able to accept suggestions for improvement. Being humble means that you do not think you are too good to listen to advice of others who are wiser than you and are looking out for your best interest. Attention all Red Devils, approximately 20 teachers have volunteered to take the LLS Ice Bucket Challenge live at our prep line next Friday, September 5th as we prepare to open a region play against Auburn High. But only one will take the plunge live at the pet rally. The teacher who raises the most money will take the ice bucket challenge next Friday. There will be students on the stage during your lunch waves to collect your donations. All money collected will be sent to the ALS Association to aid in the search for a cure. When making your donations, be sure to say which teacher you're donating for. The who volunteer are K. J. Kite, M. Easters, T. Vickers, L. Barber, M. Perkins, C. Pallarino, B. Ciancio, J. Sasser, J. Albert, E. Gunnels, B. Butler, K. Ray, T. Carey, K. Abercrombie, J. Stanford, K. Sasser, K. Hughes, S. Salford, K. Fullerton, and G. Dempsey. If you are a teacher's aide or an office aide, you may pick up your badge now. Come to the media center during the period that you are an aide to check out your badge or your lanyard. And your lanyard. The badge and your lanyard must be returned at the end of the year. Ready Club dues and induction fees are due today. These need to be turned into Ms. Gandy in room 420. Congratulations to our 2014-2015 senior class officers, President DeAndre Kennard, Vice President Bailey Pilkey, Secretary Hope Anthony, Treasurer Sally Jones. Congratulations to our junior officers, Treasurer Brianna Hardy, Secretary John Butler, Vice President Alana Andrews, President Cameron Day. Congratulations to our sophomore class officers, President Keith Baker, Vice President Chris Harrell, Secretary Carol Lawrence, Treasurer Ali Farrell. If you are a student council member and are willing to work at the game Friday night, please see Ms. Perkins in room 301. Sophomores and juniors, we will take pictures during your English this Thursday. If you do not have English, come to the gym during the day at any time you have your picture taken. Students who sign up to take the PSA team may pick up their study books from Ms. Lewis on stage in the cafeteria. Students want, wanting to complete in the alma mater competition may sign up on the stage. Groups must be five members or fewer and all in the same grade level. Winners will perform at the homecoming pet rally. And now our young will be reporting in our club corner. Extra copies of Ms. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children are currently available in the library. Get a copy of the book and join us September 9th. Meetings either before or after school. The Central High School Ambassadors will have a brief meeting this Thursday in Mr. Howell's room. Attendance is mandatory. Please see Mr. Howell if you have any questions. Attention FBLA members, please make a note of the following. Your membership form and the dues must be paid to go on the field trip. Friday, September 5th is the last day to join FBLA and be able to order a t-shirt. You will be able to join after that date, but we will not be able to guarantee you a chapter t-shirt. Also, all membership forms and money are due by this date. Friday, September 12th, is the last day to turn in permission forms and money for the Business of Baseball Braves game field trip. Again, membership form and dues must be paid in order to go on this field trip. If you have any questions, please see any business or marketing teacher in the Career Tech building. Hear ye, hear ye. Are you a sophomore and want to join the math club? Of course you do. So meet me in my room this Thursday, September 4, 2014, 8.15 a.m., room 3.30 in King Garman's classroom. We have much to discuss. Now, here's Alex with your sports news. Central versus Harris County stats. 23 first downs, 56 attempts for 326 yards passing. Wait, no, it's rushing. Central versus Harris County stats. 20 first downs, 56, 56 attempts for 326 yards rushing. Zion Webb was 11 to 22 for 132 yards with two touchdowns and one interception passing. Individual stats rushing. Number four, Kenneth Thomas, 29 attempts for 187 yards and two touchdowns. Number one, Trey Samuel, 18 attempts for 90, 95 yards and two touchdowns. Number three, Bernardo Hinn. One attempt for seven yards and a touchdown. Individual stats receiving. Number one, Trey Samuel. Four, four catches for 30 yards and a touchdown. Number eight, Quan Weaver. Three catches for 58 yards and a touchdown. Number six, Jamal Coach. Two catches 
for 27 yards. Score was 48 to 43. The leading tackler on defense was Teron Martin, who had two tackle, two total tackles. Bernardo Hinn had nine total tackles, and DeAndre Kennard had eight tackles with one sack. This Friday, September 5th, we'll be taking on Auburn Tigers at Garrett Harrison Stadium at 8 p.m. We're red to the game to red out the Tigers. Please come out and support our Red Devils. This is a huge game for us against our region opponent. We need everyone to come out and be there early making noise. We want to let Auburn know who really has the best student section and fans in Alabama. These have been your Red Devil TV announcements. Have a great Red Devil Day.